At his home in the Parisian suburbs, William locks himself in his room to order drugs on WhatsApp. Silver Haze, Belgia Yellow, Lemon Kush, names under which cannabis is sold in different forms, available on social media sites in just one click. Encrypted messaging apps are the unwitting hosts of this online drug market, where customers choose what they want to buy and have it delivered the same day. It's a more discreet 2.0 version of street-level buying and dealing, which has been interrupted by COVID-19 restrictions. So basically, I'm summarizing the order. So green for cannabis or weed and brown for hash. I know quite a few people who used to go to the street sellers, including my girlfriend. But as I live quite far out of Paris, home delivery is more practical. It saves me from having to travel and it saves me from taking the risk of getting caught in the event of a police raid. A few hours later, a man parks his car a little further up the street so as not to arouse suspicion. He then discreetly approaches William. The transaction is over in a few seconds. William paid 100 euros for 10 grams of cannabis, the minimum order eligible for delivery. Like trafficking, drug use is punishable by law in France, with users incurring an on-the-spot fine of 200 euros for possession. But that hasn't stopped these home drug delivery networks known as Uberhash from taking off during lockdown. Before COVID, the phenomenon had been largely concentrated in and around Paris. But now it's spread to smaller towns, with independent delivery people with no ties to large organisations getting involved. One of these individuals, whom we'll call Hugo, accepted to show us how he works in the Lyon region. This is olive-shaped hash. This is weed. I have some special products, like this extraction. It's super rare and expensive. It's a bit like the caviar of hash. From cannabis and cocaine to MDMA and ecstasy, more and more drugs are available for delivery on Snapchat, often promoted like luxury products and regularly with special offers. I got onto Snapchat not because it's easier, but because it's more accessible. I used to go up to people in town and I would tell them to add me on Snapchat, and people would laugh, thinking I was hitting on girls, but I was hitting on customers. Until one day it really blew up, and I started sending the people who'd been laughing on delivery missions. This more approachable way of selling on social media risks exposing many more minors to drugs, with the lively music and bright colours helping to trivialise the narcotics. Dealers have appropriated retail marketing strategies. From Black Friday to Valentine's Day to Lucky Dips, promotions are offered all year round to attract buyers. Have deliveries increased with Covid? Yes, of course, because people prefer to wait in peace and quiet at home for their order rather than getting a fine by going outside to score. It's this new sort of drug dealing that anti-narcotics units like this one in Rouen have turned their focus to. Here we have an ad on Snapchat inviting customers to come and buy in a specific place. We're seeing more and more pictures like this. It's quite recent, as delinquency develops and adapts to the times. Delinquents have adapted by using the internet and all that it offers. Every day, officers from the unit carry out rounds to locate and break up drug deals. A year ago, France also set up a new anti-narcotics squad, OFAST, to coordinate the fight against drug trafficking from the stairwell all the way up to the international level. OFAST officers have adapted to the uberization of drug trafficking. They now scour the dark web and have developed specific methods for social media investigations. A cyber unit was also set up last summer. We had expected seizure figures for 2020 to collapse due to the impact of the COVID crisis. But in reality, the figures remain very high as we are faced with highly organized criminal organizations. The turnover of drug trafficking in France comes to 3.2 billion euros. In France, around 200,000 people are charged with drug-related offenses every year.